That's freaky, man. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. This is a colony of deformed <laughs> people. Hey everyone, Selaviathan here to bring you some more reactions to Fallout. Excited to get back into this one over here. Last episode definitely had me um, a bit intrigued to see what's going on with this other vault that Lucy and Maximus has stumbled onto. And as well as like a little bit more of the, uh, the vault situation with the 31 members here always being the ones in charge. Very suspicious, very suspicious. That Betty woman was, was definitely um, a bit scary. Uh, I hope we get more progress with that one though in this episode. Uh, anyway though, if you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it if you guys do. Leave a like on the video and comment down below. I want to know what your thoughts are on, I guess, this theories and just this reaction over here. And hey man, if you guys have recommendations, just drop them down below and I'll consider them putting it on the list. But we're not going to waste any time here. Let's just get started with Fallout Episode 6, The Trap. Uh, that's a big indication that Maximus and Lucy have stumbled on to something that is a little bit beyond them, but who knows. Let's get started with this one, guys. Hello there. Yep, it's me, Cooper Howard, star of stage and screen. But I'm not here today to talk to you about my latest picture. Now, I'm speaking to you from deep inside the fully livable model 96JQ1164. And what a beaut she is. What a song she sings. And now you can be a hero too by purchasing a residence in a vault tech vault today. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need Americans just like you to build a better day after. Mr. Howard, great work today. Uh, thanks. Uh, thanks. Bud Askins, I oversee a Southern California operations. I uh, came over to Vault Tech in Q3 after a 10 year stint in West Tech. <laughs> West Tech? It's a defense contractor. Oh, I'm uh, very familiar with you guys. You designed the T-45 power armor. Oh, damn. So they were even making these, like, uh, power suits back in the day, too. Because what is the ultimate oh, weapon? It makes sense. It makes sense. destroy your competition. It's not outselling them. It's not outsmarting them. It's time. Hmm. Time is the ultimate weapon. Uh-huh. There is a rap party. What up? A rap party for this? Yes. <sighs> All right. We go for a couple of hours, we shake a few hands. It's at our house. Motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, I just wanna relax, man. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be smooch smooching with all these high elites, yo. Well, shit, Seabass. You might be the only one of my invites who actually showed up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not our usual scene. I'll give you that. No, it is not. I think our Hollywood actor friends, I want to be seen celebrating with the pitch man for the end of the world. Oh, uh, you don't know the half of it. You hear I lost a movie over these ads? I mean, I've dipped my bits in the same gravy train. Sell my vocal rights to that spinning robot they sell to housewives and perverts. Yo, that's funny. I didn't even realize that was his voice actor. That's why when I first saw that robot, I kind of recognized it a little bit with the voice. It was him. There's no no fudge yet. Oh, only a general atomics interval. Destroying a legitimate business? That's illegal around these parts. Says who? The government. Doubt, I doubt there's law and order up here. Probably a bit of a militia trying to pretend. I know you mentioned you're eager to keep moving, but your friend is going to have to recover here for a couple of days before it's safe to travel. I'm fine. I'm fine. You had a rotten human tooth lodged in your shoulder. You're not fine. <laughs> I don't know if you've been to the surface, but it is not good. I was born on the surface. My mother was a courier. I was 11 and traveled with her to Philly. Three days walk from home and we could still feel the heat from the blast. You're from Shady Sands. Many of us are. Oh, we were lucky to find such a damn. hospitable community here in Volfor. Why did they let them in? That's not normal. I smell bullshit. I smell bullshit. Nope. Cannot trust these people. You want to have sex? 
Steaming <laughs> use my cock. Yes, please, very much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a knight. Um, a knight of the Brotherhood. We're not supposed to. Okie dokie. You're about to miss a perfect opportunity, my dude. We know you want to do this. We know. <laughs> this is a cult. Same as any. It's not a cult. Everyone's smiling. Titus, this is a safe place where people take care of each other. Sorry to interrupt your breakfast, but our overseer wanted to say a quick hello. Overseer Benjamin, this is Lucy and Titus. Ooh, hey guys. What the Just fuck? Hi. What the Hello. fuck? And obviously, <laughs> welcome to Vault 4. <laughs> Why did Birdie assume this was going to be a normal exchange? You just want people to knowingly accept that a guy is a cyclops? That's freaky, man. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. This is a colony of deformed <laughs> people. You ever think about working somewhere else? I used to. But with you doing these ads, it's, it's practically the family business. I have been reading too much news lately. Got me second guessing the whole city life. Mm. Oh, come on. You, you've seen these around. Not on you, I haven't. All I'm saying is we have this one life. Do you really want to spend your nine to fives working with these assholes? I need this job, Coop. It guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. We can buy a spot in the vault. One of the good vaults. Man, this is starting to make me very suspicious about what had happened after the bombs fell. Voltex the fucking devil, man. My wife works here. You really think Barb's a devil? No, no okay. I, I like Barb, okay? Uh, Voltex is a private corporation that has a fiduciary responsibility to make money for its investors. And how does it make money? By selling bolts. That's called capitalism, Charlie. But they can't sell bolts if these peace negotiations go through. So Voltech has the fiduciary responsibility to make sure that it don't work out. That's such a huge conflict of interest. Now it's making me wonder who the hell dropped the bombs. Was it their enemy or was it friendly fire? Treason is treason. Come on, man. You sound like you're in a cult. You're sitting here defending a system that's ready to set the world on fire. Nah, people. man. He's speaking facts, yo. You're the one in the cult. Ain't no, ain't no conspiracy, yo. No. You just put two and two together. It makes sense. Look. You should come to a meeting. You should learn the truth about where your wife works. It's going to be hard on her. That's all. What is? You know, no dogs in the vaults. Makes a little sense. You don't want to unnecessarily feed like an animal when you don't really like have enough food for yourself who decided that there were no dogs in the bowl well i think that is a relatively trivial concern given the prerequisite conditions of us living in a nuclear fallout shelter well you know i'm not sure that it is to be quite honest what i'm serious who, who, who makes the rules i want to know about my freedom I didn't go to war defending that freedom so that I could live in a cellar under the boot heel. Yeah, of no, Chairman he's Butt not Astro. wrong. He's not wrong. Isn't America meant to be free? Freedom for all? When did we start becoming the same communists that we're fighting? Yeah, I don't even know what planet you're on sometimes, Coop. But when the bombs drop, a two hour drive ain't gonna cut it. So, yes, there will be no dogs in the vault. And no, none of it is ideal. I'm, I'm actually from a vault. You're what? I'm from a vault. So you are. Goosey McLean. Oh, no, no, it's, it's Lucy. You don't meet a natural born vault dweller every day. We're a dying breed. Oh, you're, you're from here? Five generations, and proud of it. Huh, well, I just thought because. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, if I was in this situation right now, I would've already pointed out, why do you have one eye? And I would've asked that right away. Subtle. I am not good in these types of awkward situations. I'll just blurt out what I, the first thing I think. I don't understand. If you don't like people from the surface, then why do you keep taking them in? It's a policy from before my time. But these newcomers, oof, let me tell you, if you want to get elected, you have to respect their traditions and tolerate them and not call them surfies. It's awful. What's on level 12? I'm not going to go there. We 
You don't talk about that. Jeez, what's the matter with you? Sorry, I... I you just... should go now. I only wanted to... Goodbye, Goosey. Where do you guys get your power from? Not a good idea at all. Stealing, stealing equipment from these people? I see you found our fusion core. How are we just in collect on here? Does it matter? I'm leaving soon. How about you sleep in a room of your own tonight? Have a hot shower. Nothing wrong with a little bit of comfort. And when you say hot shower, what does that mean exactly? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he's already he's already been caught in her web. <laughs> <laughs> These bats left him a whole gift basket. Nah, he's already caught in it so I'm like there's no way he could resist this. He's like, what the fuck is this? Food in a box? <laughs> Processed sugar? <laughs> what is this shit? What happened to Shady Sands? Having like a whole secondary like bomb situation aside from the original one we saw? It's so weird. It's so weird, so strange. I heard it was a ghoul that fucked up that super duper mark. Nobody told me it was the ghoul. Look at you, 200 years. I don't know what keeps you going. Maybe you just like the feeling of that good old California sunshine on your wrinkly ass face. Or maybe you're still looking for her. I knew this guy had a bigger mission. And what I am hearing is a whole lot of chatter about some woman name of Moldavia. Now you got anything to say in your defense? Guilty as charged. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> he shot him in the dick! <laughs> you never shoot a guy in the dick! Why? Do you have this picture on your wall? That's Moldaver. Why? No freaking way, Maldiva has been alive for 219 years. This is so culty right now. I didn't even expect him to casually just show nudity here. It's episode six. This is the first time we're seeing anything like that. Flame this mother, is so we weird. Flame mother. Moldaver? We bring back the past as we remember. We bring back those taken from us by covering ourselves in their ashes. To bring back Shady Sands, blood must spill. Find the exit. Grab Maximus and get the fuck out of here, guys, while they're distracted. Mr. Howard? I'm a big fan. 
They worship this woman like a god. One that will bring salvation back, but through violence and death. You were right about this place. No, you were right. Check this out. These are called oysters. You want one? They make you feel so good. You want to make my cock explode now? What? Sorry, intercourse? <laughs> no, that is, I get why you'd want to stay. Okay, I really do. I, I know this must all seem really nice compared to the, the shoot show that's up there. They gave me a robe. I know. And slippers. These people are hiding something from us. I'm gonna prove it to you, okay? I'm not leaving without you. He should have followed her. Don't let her go out finding proof alone. Go with her. That's a gulper. What the hell is that doing up, up here? Ew! What the fuck? She gave birth to a bunch of baby gulpers? And then they ate her alive? Ah, sick! What? This is so much more horrific than anything we've seen so far. She's still alive too. And there's more. Glad you're all right. I saw the door was open. I worried one of you might have gotten out. Hello? Damn it. This guy's on demon time. He knows. You hear anything suspicious, you just go right for the gun. <laughs> this. Man, yo. Lucy, get out of here. Please, Lucy, get out of here. Please. You're crazy. You people are crazy. Your entire culture is insane. I'm sure if we came to your home, we would say the same thing. I'm mad. I'm mad. Like I get it, dude. But the moment she came there, said things were well. You should have. You should have trusted her. I mean, she's good enough to smash, but she ain't good enough to trust. Come on, Maximus, get your priorities straight. Another great episode. Oh, that one had me on the edge of my seat, guys. It really did. I loved. I loved learning more about the past here. Like the reveal that Moldaver was here from like 219 years ago still looks exactly the same. Right? Not a mutant, not nothing, still a human being. What kind of anti-aging shit does she have? Things have definitely turned um, different for me here, like compared to what I thought it was going to be when, when it came to us like kind of um, entering this new vault here. It added a whole new layer of story for us that um, that connected Moldaver with these other, with these Vault 4 people or like the, the surfies that came down here. But I'm excited, yo. Lucy captured, but I'm like, fuck. I don't know how this is gonna happen, but Maximus, get off your damn ass and we'll see. Oh, can't wait, wait to get into the next two. And I'm anticipating this finale is gonna be amaze balls. Definitely amaze balls. I'm excited for it. I'll see you guys in a Bye bye.